gift for you. You are clearly an artist of world renown. No, madam. The artist is my friend, William Hogarth. Flattery in drawing is no substitute for coin, Mr. Hogarth. I shan't always be penniless. When I'm a fine lady, with rank and distinction, Maybe I'll pay for my own portrait. Or do you think it very foolish of me to imagine such a future? No. Yes, you do. But I shall make my fortune more swiftly than you. Miss Toga. very good artist, Mr. Hogarth. Or am I a very poor judge? I'm the best artist in England. I want to paint you. Does she know you're all alone with the quarters, Anne? But of course, you don't tell her that. Surprised to hear you use the word courtesan. What would you prefer? Do you think me a harlot? Cyprian? Mole. A votary of Venus. Hasn't that a pretty phrase? <laughs> Does it treat you well? Mr. Hirsch? You mean, is he gentle in the act? Not particularly. Forgive me, sir, if I upset you. It's just we whores, we tend to say things that make respectable gentlemen blush. Can't help it. But an artist... A real artist isn't easily embarrassed. You see, to paint something, to, to find what it really is and paint that, to look inside your subject, you must stare at them and stare at them. Stare right through the clothes on their back, through their bodices, petticoats, through their skin and bones, to their very soul. Who they really are. Heavens. Is this how you see me, this? Uncorrupted little child. Is that what you see? A child? No. Actually, no, you're right. There's nothing innocent in this face. That's not what I meant. What is it then? Fear. It's not fear. so pretty as I thought. What do you want to do to me, Mr. Hurst? Perhaps bruise me a little. Make me even uglier. There are thousands of whores like you. No, there aren't. to worry. I'll find myself another wealthy gentleman. 
And then you can paint any number of portraits of me. Mr. Hogarth. Do you still want to paint me? More than ever. Don't I deserve a share? If your image becomes the talk of London, perhaps you could put your prices up. I may have fallen on hard times, but the gutter hasn't claimed me. And you'll see, I will rise from it. Doing us both proud, huh? Does he settle his bill? Because right now I could do it a little satisfying myself. Rise from it, will you? Mr. Hogarth. Pay you for an hour. What an hour with you would cost? Five guineas. Then you're a virgin, maybe. A shilling and sixpence. Four guineas. of a drunken clergyman. <clears throat> you didn't believe that. <laughs> Your father must have been proud of his little boy. You realise your gift as an artist? He was penniless. A dreamer. You and I, we're the same. We're not the same. There have always been millions of girls like me. You have dignity. I doubt most men think I've got much dignity. Are well, they animals? Are oh, that thug who comes to take your money? <laughs> He'll be swinging from a rope before he's 30. Mary. It's not a dream, my future. I will be successful, and I will be rich. You're going to grow old before your time. I want to save you. When, Will? I'll get you out. 
You're the artist. Get out! Is this what you want? What's it got to do with you? I came here to find you. Well, I don't want to see you. I don't want you coming here, pestering me with your pathetic drawings and your empty promises. Mr. Hogarth has been rather too generous in his paintings, I think. At least, if I was that beautiful once, in slowly rotting away. Cold and hungry. And your husband is a generous man. You shouldn't have come to my house. <laughs> my wife said you needed money. You have a son. Can you even remember all the possible fathers? I should have told you before. His name's William. Are you going to seek out every gullible fool who might be persuaded to part with a few pennies? What about your jailer? Or your pimp? I've missed you. <coughs> first drew me, what went through your mind? Oh. I was thinking, who's this young whore from the North Country? <laughs> I thought your drawing was charming. And then I opened my mouth. <laughs> you captured something in that drawing. Something that was more than a harlot. And when you spoke to me, I was intrigued. He is yours, Will. William to me. Than a pickpocket or a pimp. 